kegs are soaking. Welcome back. In today's adventure, I head into the historic Scottish borders for a wild camp, experiencing all four seasons. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the views. Here we are again, back in my favourite place, Southern Uplands, Cheviot Hills, Northumberland, I'll let you decide, but we've just got a passing shower here hopefully, because we did just say showers on the weather report, but who knows, um, I didn't bring any waterproof trousers, is a bit of a mistake. You win some, you lose some, don't you? I think I've got about three kilometres to go to destination. As usual, I'm not going to reveal it. If you think you know where it is, get the maps out and have a look. Well, that ain't a bad view. It's not a bad view at all. I'm getting absolutely drenched here. We are meant to just be having showers, so God knows what's going on. It doesn't look like it's clearing anytime soon either. So we're just going to have to push on and get pitched. I don't know which one to choose. Oh, I think I see some cows over there. That's not good. Oh, I'm gonna have to go around them. We we'll might be alright. Turns out there weren't cows after all. Some GGs. Looking me up and down, don't think we're very keen on us by the way, but this is steep. I'm gonna blast up this. Whew, let's go. The rain stopped, thank God for that. Hopefully, I can dry out a little bit. I do have some spare kit, I've got my sleeping clothes I can put in and uh, I'll hang it up, hang the jacket up and stuff in my tent to let it dry out with the air. Oh, but yeah, I'm knackered. Just got to go to the top of this bit here and I think that's home for the night. Yeah, I'm in a new tent, would you believe? Shock horror, the Jody Wildcamp man, a new tent. Ha. Let's just uh, push past these unnamed crags. Apologies, just catching my breath. But look at that. Amazing. Well, we've made it. This is the spot. Wow. The views from here are absolutely incredible. Incredible. I watched a video from a fellow Northumberland YouTuber. Donna Van Senior followed her for years, absolutely brilliant content. And uh, she wasn't too far from this area and it was absolutely beautiful what you had, the view down the valley. Um, this is a place I want to come for a little while, it's always been marked on the map but it's pretty difficult to get to. Well in fact it hasn't been that bad, it hasn't. But this is definitely the side of uh, the Scottish borders that I want to explore a little bit more. I've picked out a couple of spots coming up as well, which I want to try out, but I think I'll save those for another day. Right, I think we've got to get pitched in case another rain cloud comes in. Yeah. 
I think I'm going to go here. Right, that's me set up. All set up. Oh my god, the colours on the other side are absolutely phenomenal. I want to make this quick. That's me all set up now. Uh, I am in the MLD. It's one that I bought. I don't actually know if it's a duo made or it's a solo made XL. So if you know, let us know. Um, but I was having so much fun with the lightweight and the pyramid tents. Um, that I thought I'd get another, and I love it. Lovely colour, nice camouflage. A little bit of tweaking and fluffing that I need to do to get the pitch right, but I'm not exactly on flat ground, am I? <sighs> I am starting to dry up a bit now, but I'm going to show you guys this. There you go, phenomenal. The light coming through onto the hills. And it is a tad bit chilly. A tad bit chilly. But look at that. Wow. I've done it again, boys and girls. We've done it again. We have done it again. <laughs> nice little sunset kicking through. <sighs> Beautiful. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get anything. I didn't think I was going to get anything. And it is so still now. You can see the Eldon Hills through there as well, just to the right, where I went through on the uh, St. Cuthbert's Walk with Jess. If you haven't seen that, check it out in the back catalogue. Well, Hounham Law, you've got a load around here. Now all we need is the clouds to clear tonight for some stars. Wow, some really nice colours popping through now. Absolutely gorgeous. It's casting some pinks and blues onto the sky, uh, onto the clouds behind me as well. It's looking a bit ominous over that way, to be perfectly honest, but the wind's pushing us that way, so hopefully we're not going to get anything, and it looks clearer down there. But happy with the setup? Very, very happy. I'll take you through it now, actually. 
Right, so this is the MLD Solo Mid XL. Inside, I've got the usual suspects in here. That's the Heiberg Lona 350 Repeat SL Wide and also a Decathlon Pillar. But yeah, very happy with it. Love the colour. It's not too bad, is it? And not a bad little pitch. Do you know what it is? I'm too busy trying to take in the views. But I'm absolutely starving, but you know, if I sit down for five minutes, you know that's going to go. That's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Clouds moving in the background. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think it's going to be a bit of a still night. Not much wind, but that is uh, pretty nice. Kind of needed this a little bit. Had a hectic couple of weeks. Um, you've probably seen as me much posted. I did say I wasn't going to. Been on some a family camping trip, which was uh, pretty much crazy times. Weather was crazy, but nevertheless, good to get out um, in the Lake District with the fam. Look at that man! Wow! I don't, know if it, I don't even know if it picks it up very well. I want to see if it does. Hope it does. Uh, big shout out, actually. Spray away. Thanks, guys. This is something I actually manifested years ago. One of the first bits of uh, hiking gear I got was a Torridon jacket. Um, I also had a bobble hat, and I just I just love the idea of spray away. Um, being a UK-based company, a lot of recycled materials go into their, uh, their equipment as well. So thank you very much for sending me this and a couple of other bits of items for, for Jess as well. So that's going to get well, well used. And uh, I feel very proud to be representing them. I think we're, I think we're in for a little bit of trouble here. This clag is rolling. Rolling down the hill. Wow. We'll be in the tent soon enough, I think. Oh, right. Oh, sugar. God, that clag is rolling in. Oh, it doesn't roll into this hill. Well, if it does, it does. If he dies, he dies. Oh, bloody hell. It's not a very even pitch, like. But it is what it is. Do you know one thing I love about being up here? I didn't see a soul. Didn't see anybody. Seen two horses, but I didn't see anybody else other than that. This spot where I'm at now, honestly, it's miles away from anywhere. It's absolutely mint. It's great. And I'll definitely be venturing back up here. It's just a shame we haven't had really any kind of summer. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, one of those things. Yeah, I'm going to have a little something to eat. I might get a, a brew on, to be honest. And have a coffee. Or a hot chocolate, one of the two. Probably a hot chocolate. Just tear sheep. Actually, here's another thing. If you are uh, a Northumberland wild camper, consider getting on Facebook and joining the Northumberland wild campers chat. There is a Facebook group on there that I've set up for like-minded individuals to kind of share knowledge, share pictures, and really just connect. So if you fancy it, jump on. 
Uh, likewise, if you want to see more of my adventures as well, head over to Instagram, the Jordy Wild Camper. Can't miss it because it's my mush on there. And uh, and drop me a, a follow. So I use the uh, the Lumix S5 for recording, and the autofocus isn't great on it to be honest. So I'm uh, I'm trusting it on autofocus right now. Normally I'll always manually focus. But I'm going to give it a go and see how it gets on. It is low light as well, so we'll see. We'll see. But it's time to get a coffee on, I think. What have I got in here? Let's have a quick look. Oh, yes. Oh, I've got a Belgian chalk. Can you see that? Just wants to focus on me, doesn't it? A Belgian chocolate, which I'm going to have, and I've got the alcohol stove, the X boil, which I love. That and the Borderator kit as well. So that's all I've I bought everything I have. Just such an easy setup, this. But uh, the hot chocolate's warming us up, as you can see, you can't see, not much to see, is there? Which is a shame, clagged in. But I did get a good sunrise, uh, sorry sunset, so I can't really complain, can I? Now I'm hoping tomorrow morning we're going to get lucky. What do you reckon? What's the chances? Probably zero. Right, I think I'm going to retire to the tent. I'm going to stick the radio on, listen to a bit of talk sport, and get myself to sleep. Good night. Well, good morning. A very, very peaceful night. Very still, very calm, very humid. Lots of condensation. But also a very, very calm morning. We do have a little bit of a cloud inversion going on in the valleys behind me here. Nothing close. And towards the Chivy, it looks absolutely minging, grey. In Mingin. Uh, I've had to put on my wet clothes but that's just the way it goes. It's only a short journey home. Uh, roughly I think it's going to be about an hour back um, and then a little bit longer on the car so I'm going to get packed away and sorted. Yeah come on then let's go.
can see not the flattest spot around. Let's get these away in the back. Right. That's it for me folks, all done and dusted. Just a hike down to the core now. Feels a little bit heavier. I don't know if it's because it's all wet or what. But feel a little bit heavier. In a lovely clouding version that way. Amazing. It's a shame on this side. Yeah, really, really good camp. Enjoyed it. Good to test out some new bits of kit again. Um, the MLD performed superbly. Wasn't really anything to perform against, I suppose. Um, ventilation was a bit poor, but not much else you can do on that front. But yeah, another good camp. Thanks very much for sticking through. And until next time, peace out. <laughs>